Hi everybody, it's Joy from Joy Crafting. I'm here to do a quick Hobby Lobby clearance haul and just a regular haul video today. And um, I was just down at Hobby Lobby and I found some really great things on clearance um, and some cute fall things. So let's start with a couple of fall things I found. I found this really cute felt or pumpkin ornament. And then, of course, I gotta get the gnome too to match, which would be really cute on a little fall tree. And they were $2.99. And you can see the SKU number right there. And then this one was also $2.99. Then I was able to grab some cool bead um, things. I got this cute rainbow focal that's silicone. I got some cute little charms, some cute little pink and pastel. It has a donut and a little unicorn, a unicorn face, rainbows, and a little candy. And they were four forty nine, and they were on sale, so I got that for fifty percent off. And I got another really cute um, focal bead, uh, boba tea one super cute and then some cute little sucker charms again helps if i put it this way 4.49 super cute and i like that it already has everything attached i can just add it to any of my journals or anything like that and then i got some cute fruit ones there's the cherries and a cute pineapple and strawberry and of course an avocado with a bow and then a cute piece of watermelon, pink watermelon. And again, all their bead products were on sale when I went. And then I got these cool um, pink ombre kind of color. I guess they'd be called sugar beads, right? Um, it's called Color Gallery by Bee Treasures, and they're 15 millimeter beads, and they were on 50% off of $6.49. So these were super cute. Here's a really great picture of what they look like. Um, I also got some of their bean mixes, and they were $6.99. The only thing I really don't like is when you open them, they have like a bit of a smell to them. Um, it's almost like a chemically smell. So that really kind of turned me off. But the beads are super cute, so I'm hoping the smell will go away. But here is a kind of a quick overview of the beads. Some really cute different versions. I really like this kind of crackly glass one. That's really cool. And like the sparkly beads, but like it's just the smell is quite pungent. A uh, little disco ball one. So I'm hoping if I leave the I'm gonna leave the thing open and see if it'll get better with the smell. Um I don't know. If it's because of what they're made of or what but it is not a nice smell so and I really like these purple beads right here with the uh, stripes those are really cute so and then I also got another bead mix from Hobby Lobby these ones are a little bit more expensive they were $7.99 I don't know if it's because of the gold on them but um, these were pretty cute too but again Slightly different smell, like almost like a nail polish remover smell to this one. Whereas the other one smell smelt like almost like mothballs, if you know what a mothball is. So these ones are a little bit more expensive. Not sure why. They have some cute little pearl ones as I fling them on the floor. Some kind of bedazzled ones. But these were a little bit more expensive. Um only a dollar more, but these ones have a little bit different smell. So again, I'm just going to try and leave them open and see if that smell will go away. So 
so that is those ones and they come in a nice little container so you don't even have to find a container for them so that is those ones and then they had their um stickers the chenille stickers on for 224 so i got one of stuff and then i got um 74 cents star in purple and 74 cents star in kind of of a light blue color they also had love for a dollar 99 which i thought was a smoking deal um and that is all for the chenille patches and then I went to the paper area and I found these really cute um, hearts and star. I think they're acrylic, but paper clips for 87 cents. And they would be so cute in a little journal or just as a decoration for your next mini album. But they are super cute. Um, I also got these puffy ones for 87 cents. And they are quite large, but they would be very cute again on a journal and then i also got some of these metal charms again from the paper studio for a dollar 12. and then i was also able to get some tim holtz stuff a lot of their distress oxides were already gone that were on sale but these were 249 and they're the metal um gears i guess you would call them and they're super cute um then i was able in the paper studio they had these um cute little lemon lemons and what i'm going to do is probably cut the back off of these and then you could just glue them onto your any of your projects and those are 99 cents um and then they also had this it is nutcrackers my oldest daughter is a fan of nutcrackers and collects them so i thought this washi tape would be really cute for 87 cents and you get quite a bit of it and it's quite thick so it could be good for paper crafting or planners or anything like that so that was a really cool deal as well um in regards to more beads i got the cow mix and of course i didn't open them ahead of time um my niece is a super fan of Highland Cow, so I thought I'd do a cute little pin for her and maybe like a charm for her backpack. So you get the dark and the light Highland Cow, and then you get these cool cow print silicone beads. Um, and then kind of a good variety of colors that would go. And a I really like this marbly one. That's really cool. And these are... 15 mils I believe is the size for them so you'll see some projects coming up with that I'm going to put these to the side um, I'm kind of all over the place today and when there's 28 pieces for $9.99 and it doesn't say what the size is but I'm pretty sure those are 15 mils and then still with the paper thing um, they had the hero arts uh, ombre stamp pads for $3.99 it was really weird not all of them were on sale just some of them so you kind of have to watch like some of the, like the pinks and this is this was one of the only ones that was on sale for the ombres but I'm going to try this out because they I hear good things about these and again it's hero arts then they also had their tin, their tinsel snowflake embossing powder for $2.74 very sparkly never used the tinsel so i'm excited to try it i've heard good and bad but i will maybe do some cute cards with that and then they also had the pink tinsel this is a better better view of it again 274 and then they also had the clear which clear is a great one when you stamp in a color and then put that on it just makes it nice and shiny so again 274 so i'm losing room here um because i'm going to do some beading and wristlets i got a beatable loop for 2.99 and it's a one piece and it's 
20.32 centimeters or eight inches. And then I also got a vinyl applicator or scraper, which on sale for two to 24, and it's a Fiskars. So I think this will be pretty good quality, good to put vinyl on or just anything to smooth it out. Okay, and then last for the beads, I had to get the silicone cowboy hats, which will go with the cow print thing. So you get, um, so there's $6.99, they're the cowboy hat mix, and there's 10 pieces in here, and they have cute little brown, kind of a turquoise color, I guess, or yeah, turquoise, pink, and then white cowboy hats, along with two black ones. So that would be really good with this whole set. Um, and I wanted to try the UVDTF um stickers and i thought this is a good way before i go buy a bunch to try a kind of a set so these are 249 and um they're they're called cold transfer stickers but they're uv dtf so you can put them on mugs or anything any hard surface and you don't need a heat press or anything like that you just put them on and you can use the scraper to to smooth them out and this one is all the different sayings Today is your day. You got this. Stay positive, babe. Wild and free. Make it happen. Coffee. Do what makes you happy as well. So these are $2.49. And so you get quite a few of them. So you can put them on your laptop. Again, they show you with the cool beer can mugs. But really anything that's hard surface, um, you can put them on. But the only thing is they are not dishwasher safe. So if you do put them on a mug, it is hand wash only. And then the one I really like is this bright colorful, let's do it, keep smiling, good vibes only, rainbow and a, and a flower. And then I also got the choose happy, you got this, stay positive, mama, and have a good day. And then finally, I got two sets of their rainbow um, hearts, so you can layer them up with the saying and then wrap that around the mug. So I've got two packs of those and you get one in each. It's a, a cup wrap for each and you can cut these apart, which is really great. So if you don't have a 16 ounce beer can and you want to put it on your Stanley, you can do that as well, which is really awesome. So it's a very big haul. And I also want to start doing some wax seals with my cards. So I bought, this was on, on, not on sale, $10.99, but it has all the letters of the alphabet, which is really great. And then they did have this one on clearance. It is, I would say, probably, uh, let's live it. I guess you could say it's a sunflower. It doesn't say on the thing, does it? And it was $1.12, which is a fantastic deal. And this is what it looks like. And you get the you get the wood piece and it comes off. You can twist it off like this. So you can use a wood piece on other ones. Um, it comes with a little instruction thing, a user guide. And um, it was a dollar twelve, which was a fantastic price. You can't even get it that cheap on Timu really. Um, I opened it, pre-opened it so you could see it, and it was regular $4.49, $1.12. And then I bought the wax seal kit, the wax seal warmer and spoon. And then I also bought a low temp glue gun so I can use the glue gun shaped waxes, which I'll show you right, right away here. So, and these were on sale as well. And these were 99 cents, regular $3.99. And I got, um, each stick makes over 20 seals. So, this is going to last me quite a while. Um, and it shows you the different things. And it will go in the low temp glue gun. And you can do quite a bit. Nice little kind of um, sagey green, I guess. And then I got a silver again at 99 cents. And then a nice dark blue. Again, 99 cents. 
and I got a light, I would say lilac color. It, it's very light purple and that's really cute as well. And I also got a very light pink. Again, 99 cents. It's got a little bit of a metallic hue to it as well. So I'm quite excited to try this out. I just want to get the little silicone molds. I didn't have them at Hobby Lobby to make sure your shape stays when you, you do them. But I will probably I'll do a video testing all this stuff out here in the next little bit. And then I also got the, a cute little gnome. If you know me, I love gnomes. It's a little gnome plastic um zipper thing to hold a project in and it was i don't even have do i have the tag price it's 249 and it's in the yarn section or where they have the cross stitch so but i'm going to use it not for yarn for something else okay so that is that haul a quick little uh haul from my soul paper i got um these are a lot more expensive they're 11.95 French blue and it doesn't say how this one this one is. Looks like a, a little bit darker purple. And I also got a cute little bee stamp. So what I'm gonna do is pre and this one is $15. And it's you just stamp it like that. So this the soap paper is like is not a Hobby Lobby. They're going to be a little bit pricier, but you're also getting a little bit better quality too. So um, I wanted to try one of these small ones just to see. I'm going to pre-do them and put like two, two sided tape on the back of them. So then I can just have a whole bunch done in a container and then just put them with my cards when I'm done with them. And then finally, I got a little bit of beads from Michaels. I got these cute butterflies and then some cute hearts super excited to use them i'm going to use make i cross stitch as well so i'm going to make pins for pillows with these and which i'll do a video of this one of these days here as well using these so that is my haul from hobby lobby soul paper in saskatoon and michael's in saskatoon so i will catch you later have a great day